In Ghost Recon Online, you start as the elite of the Special Forces, but that's only the beginning. We wanted to create uh, an experience where the player can define his own experience, define his own character, take the raw material of a, of a ghost and form him into the ghost that he wants to be. As players level up, they tear up in their weapons. Having better weapons mean that they have more firepower, better upgrades for their weapons, they get a lot more choices in terms of how they want to play and how they want to equip their character. Players will also gain access to better body armor, which they can further customize with armor insert. These inserts provide bonuses like increased protection, critical hit mitigation, and health regen. The class abilities can also be upgraded as the player's progress. Whether it's enhancing the range and power of the ability or increasing its duration, players can customize their class abilities in various ways to suit their playstyle and tactics. Each class uh, is actually a different playstyle entirely, and we've designed it explicitly uh, for this. Uh, we know that players coming in are going to gravitate to one thing or another, but one of the things you can do with your playstyle is that within that, that little bracket, uh, you could actually even change that playstyle. So the easiest classic uh, kind of analogy I would have is your is, uh, for archetypes would be your sniper role, right? So recon fits the sniper role, and you and you get that. Uh, but you could actually switch to the submachine gun, which gives him that close range ability. But his abilities are kind of fun to use in the sense that you've got uh, the active camouflage system, and you've got the Oracle digital uh, digital interrogator, right? So these things are actually polar opposites. So one allows you to hide, and one allows you to detect. With the specialist, uh, his, his kind of play style is actually the hardest one to describe. It's more of an advanced class. The specialist has probably more ability to be a catalyst for advancing and gaining ground than, than any of the other classes. That, that really starts with you know, the uh, Aegis uh, ability. It allows you to basically deflect bullets. Through that, just popping it up, everybody sees it on both the enemy and friendly sides, and, and people will rush in to take advantage of that, uh, to maneuver to the next, uh, you know, the next piece of cover. Uh, with the blackout, it, it's, it's the polar opposite to Aegis. It's area effect, you just gotta charge it up uh, before he deploys it. Um, but it actually will disable all electronic devices in, in, in the area. Not only does the blackout device short out the HUDs uh, of nearby enemies, the best part is, it drains the energy of their ability so that they cannot uh, effectively use their ability for quite some time, as if they've just completed using it. So when you're the assault, you're up front, you've pushed ahead, you're trying to pull the team up, you deploy heat, and that suppresses any enemies that you're focusing on for several very effective seconds. This allows your team to move up and hold the position with you. When I've got my level 30 assault, with my fully customized assault rifle with the Phantom 1 to 4 multi zoom scope, a fully upgraded heat that I can use much more often than the average guy, loading that character into the match, shooting my friends in the face, it's the most satisfying experience of my week.